Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome to our channel. In our previous videos, we explored various important JMeter architecture elements, their scoping rules and their execution order. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I highly recommend watching them first and then continuing this video. In today's video, we are diving into the concept of JMeter plugins and plugins manager, exploring how they extend the JMeter core functionality. So without any further delay, let's get started. So far, in all our JMeter architecture elements videos, we have discussed various elements like samplers, config elements, timers, listeners, etc. We also explored different important elements within each category. These are default elements that are available to all the JMeter users. However, it is not possible to test the latest technologies or meet the client expectations by using these default elements. So we need something else to handle those challenges. That's where plugins came into the rescue. So what is a plugin? In generic terms, a plugin is a piece of software component that adds new features or extends functionality on an existing application. In our initial JMeter video, we learned one of the JMeter core feature that is it is highly extensible, right? That means it allows users to expand JMeter capabilities beyond its core functionalities with the help of different plugins developed by the JMeter community. This is one of the reasons behind JMeter's popularity in performance testing these days. Let's go to the JMeter plugins official website and understand the process of installing a plugin. Okay, so let's go to the JMeter plugins official website. So let's open the browser and go to JMeter hyphen plugins.org which is the official jmeter plugins website don't worry i will share the website link in the description okay if you go to the documentation page we can see different plugins grouped into different elements category for example if you want to download any additional graph element plugin you can pick anyone from here similarly we have different thread group plugins timer plugins listener plugins etc if you know the plugin name you can also search it from the browse plugins page directly for example i want to look for a plugin with the name dummy so when i type the dummy it will try to show all the related plugins with the name dummy okay and then if you go to use a statistic page you can see the popular plugins in plugins popularity section we can see different plugins with the download stats for example plugins manager was downloaded by 47,000 users similarly custom thread groups was downloaded by 28,000 users so this page will definitely help you to understand the popular plugins and as a learning purpose you can also download them and try to use them in your project okay if you have any questions related to the plugins then you can post them in the support forms so you can create a new conversation and then you post your question and if you want to go through any existing conversation you can open and then you can also participate in that conversation okay now let's go back to the documentation page and go to the sampler section and try to download the dummy sampler plugin okay so once we click that link it will take us to this page where jmeter explained the purpose of this dummy sampler plugin basically what they're saying is this dummy sampler generates a sample just with the value that was defined. It is extremely convenient when you need to debug a bean shell post processor or regular expression extractor without repeating the whole test or waiting for exact condition in the application under test. So if you want to do some debugging then you can use this dummy sampler without need of running the entire test. Okay and they have also given an example of the test plan. You can also download this test plan and then see how they have used this plugin. And if you click the download link then it will show us different downloadable versions of this plugin. For example this plugin has four versions available 0.1 0.2 0.3 and 0.4 it is always a best practice to download the latest version because the latest version has so many enhancements or issue fixes okay so let's download the 0.4 version once you click the version then it will download the zip package to the downloads folder so let's go to the download folders and then unzip the this plugin package once you unzip the plugin package it will show a folder with the name lib and then inside that folder we have another folder ext and there is a jar file so in the ext folder you can see two jar files one for plugins manager we will talk about plugins manager a little later another jar file for dummy plugin so what you need to do is you need to copy the dummy 0.4 jar into jmeter lib ext folder and also you need to copy the cmn jmeter 0.6 jar into lib folder before we copy these jars into jmeter folder let's go to jmeter and right click on the thread group add and then sampler and look for dummy sampler if you see here we don't have any sampler with the name dummy okay now go back to the folder and then first copy the dummy 0.4 jar and then go to jmeter lib folder ext folder and then paste it here and then again go back to the downloads folder and then copy the cmn jmeter hyphen 0.6 jar and then paste it in lib directory if you get similar kind of message then you can say replace okay so once you copied both files then go to jmeter and then file restart so basically we are restarting the jmeter we don't need to save this test plan because 
because there are no items. Now add a thread group element because sampler can be only added to the thread group and then again right click on thread group add sampler. Now this time we will see dummy sampler. So this is the way you can add any plugins to Jmeter. Now you can use this dummy sampler into your project and debug whatever the issues that you would like. Okay. And if you want to uninstall or delete the plugins the process is very simple. Again you have to go back to Jmeter lib ext folder and delete the jar file. For example we have downloaded the dummy sampler so we will delete the dummy sampler. Sampler. and then again you need to restart the jmeter so let's restart the jmeter now now add the thread group element again and look for sampler see we don't have the dummy sampler anymore so this is the way you can add the plugin or you can remove the plugin in jmeter okay next let's look at the concept of plugins manager since we can download the required plugins from the official website and deploy them without any issues so you must be thinking why it is necessary to have the jmeter plugins manager at all right basically the plugins manager is a tool for managing all the available jmeter plugins instead of going to the official site downloading and installing various plugins manually this plugins manager will do it for us through its user interface it provides various features like we can install all the available plugins directly from the plugins manager user interface without the need of going through the manual installation process we can quickly browse through different plugins and understand the problem that it is going to solve. If there is a new version available to the installed plugins, we can easily upgrade it from the plugins manager user interface directly. Now let's look at the plugins manager installation process. The installation process is pretty similar to a plugin. We just need to download the plugins manager jar from the official website and then put it into jmeter's live ext directory or folder. Then we need to restart the jmeter. Let's go to the official website and download the plugins manager. Okay. So if you want to install plugins manager, the process is very much similar to plugins. You have to go to jmeter's plugins.org official website and then go to the install page where we can see the instructions to install the plugins manager. So we need to download the the plugins manager jar and we need to put it into libext directory and then restart the jmeter so let's download the plugins manager jar again it will download to our download folders go to the download folders so the version is 1.10 so copy the jar file and then go to the ext folder and then paste it here after that we need to restart the jmeter again so let's restart the jmeter so once the jmeter has been restarted go to the option and you can see the plugins manager so once you click the plugins manager it will open up a plugin manager user interface we have three tabs available here install plugins in which we can see all the installed plugins okay and then if you go to available plugins it will show all the available plugins for us to install so let's say if you want to install dummy sampler again so let's search for dummy sampler select the dummy sampler again here on the right hand side we can see the information about that particular sampler and then click the apply changes and restart jmeter which will install the dummy sampler plugin into our jmeter so let's add the thread group element and then go to sampler elements we can see the dummy sampler okay so again open the plugins manager user interface and then we have upgrades tab if any of the installed plugins has new versions available then we can easily upgrade from this upgrade page okay well if you want to uninstall any plugins you can also do it from the plugins manager what you need to do is you just need to uncheck the plugin for example we want to uninstall the dummy sampler then we will uncheck this plugin and then apply changes and restart so that will uninstall the existing plugins so it is exactly doing the same thing what we did manually right whenever we are installing the plugins it is copying the jar into this ext folder and then restarting the jmeter similarly when we are uninstalling the plugin it is removing the jar file from this ext folder and restarting it so we don't need to go to the official website and then download it and copy it and then restart it right so we can simply do it through our plugins manager user interface okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting me i hope you understand the concept of plugins and plugin manager explained in this video in case anything is not clear or require more detailed information please feel free to mention it in the comment section all the video notes have been uploaded in github and you can find the link in the description if you are new to our channel please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited i'll see you with the next video in this module until then take care stay safe and keep learning